Welcome kids, Brian Martin here, the boss man at Four State Trucks, and today is step box day. Now, you've got a lot of room under your sleeper for storage. A lot of times under your trailer, you've got the big toolboxes. What these step boxes are good for is stuff like fuel filters, an air governor, boots, some of that stuff you don't want to keep, like use your precious space there in the luggage compartment in the sleeper. These work great for that. They also come in different sizes. So depending how much distance you've got from the back of your fuel tank to your quarter fender, we can generally fix you up with a step box that'll maximize your available open frame there. Today, we're gonna to talk about Sturdy Light. We've got the Merit, which they call the saddle box instead of the step box. So we've got Sturdy Light, Merit, and then we've got the all polished stainless steel from Bauer. So we'll start right here. This is kind of like your price fighter. If you're looking to uh, stay in a budget, and you just want a great box for the money, a good value, Sturdy Light's the way to go. They're gonna be uh, start at 12 inch, which this is an 18. All three of these are 18s for that matter. But the Sturdy Light's gonna be from 12, 18, 24, 36, and they even offer a 48 inch version. All aluminum, checkerboard, diamond plate door. Uh, the, see me, look at my notes here. The 12 inch is gonna start out at about $369 when it's not on sale. So 369, going up to the four foot Sturdy Light is a little over 700 bucks. Good value here with Sturdy Light. They've been doing it for a lot of years, good product. Moving on to the Merit Saddle Box. Uh, here again, we've got those in 12, 18, 24, and 36. They only go up to three feet. You can get it with a smooth aluminum door or the checkerboard diamond plate like this. There again, Merritt's claim to fame is their toolboxes are going to last 10 years. Like if you keep a truck and you trade it in three years, get you another one. Trade it in three years, get you another one. This box actually is built and constructed so that you're going to be able to move it from truck to truck for up to 10 years and in a lot of cases uh, a little bit longer than that. Merritt saddle box. Just like the Sturdy Light's got the step on the front and then the step on the top so you can climb up on your duct plate, your frame cover. Moving down here to the Bauer, as you can see, wow, what a difference in appearance. This is mirror finished stainless steel. These, uh, oddly enough, are made in Italy. Uh, they do uh, their construction with a lot of use of robotics, so they keep their cost down. For a stainless box, uh, this is also available in 18, 24, and 30 inches. So you got a foot and a half, two foot, and two and a half foot on the Bauer. And they're going to start at $750 for what you see here, the 18 incher. So $750 for an 18 incher versus about $570 versus about $470 on these 18 inchers. But it's polished stainless steel, you know, obviously it's never going to rust or tarnish, which these are not going to rust either. This one's not going to rust or tarnish. In theory, soap and water, you should be done. You should never really have to spend much time polishing it. And I want to share something with you that's kind of a decision maker on these. If you go with the Sturdy Light or the Bauer, you're going to need to buy your basic uh, mounting kit, which we sell those here at Four State. They run $90 to $100, and they're going to come with two of these. But for the Sturdy Light and the Bauer, you're going to need to get these uh, to mount them correctly, and make them hold up, and last a long time with you climbing up and down on them. The Merit has kind of got a $90 advantage because if you come up here a little closer, the Merit is actually doubled in the back corners where you're gonna mount it up to your truck frame. So as long as you drill through that double thickness, they're saying that you don't need a mounting kit on your 12, 18, and 24 inch Merit boxes. So you can save $90 off this price because you're not gonna have to buy the mounting kit. Let's go ahead and take a look inside these things. Solid aluminum construction, rubber weather seal, high quality latch, lockable of course. Merit, much the same way. Rubber seal, high quality construction, all metal, uh, stainless latch. The Bauer, 
It does have the gas shock, rubber seal for to keep it a relatively weather tight, uh, top shelf construction, and you can see it uses a plastic latch as well. Hey Bossman, I got a question. I noticed that the Bower box, the more expensive one of the three, has plastic latches and hinges. Wouldn't the all metal hinges be the more appropriate choice? Well, I guess you could look at it that way. Something that I find interesting is Bauer sells toolboxes literally all over the world. I think they ship toolboxes. Of course, I told you they're made in Italy. They send them to like 30 different countries throughout the planet. They have actually done tests that the plastic on both accounts lasts longer and works better at extremely hot temperatures and sub-freezing temperatures. They work smoother and last longer than the metal. So that's based on I guess a global presence in the toolbox uh, business and then also Bauer I think on every toolbox they offer whether it's a step box or a rectangular box like you're putting under your trailer they're all equipped with gas shocks which is a really nice feature so in this case plastic may be a good thing if you want to see all the step boxes and saddle boxes we've got here at four state just log on to fourstatetrucks.com right up there on the home page in the search bar you can literally put step box Enter and it's going to bring up a good bunch of these and then if you don't see what you want there hit saddle box and it'll bring up the merit ones. That's pretty much what we got for step box saddle box 101. If you got questions or you want to get one ordered up give us a call here at four state trucks and we'll share with you what we know.